Dula do and welcome to another tutorial in web development. This is the second part of the tutorial where I show you how to make bouncing balls in the HTML5 canvas. So let's carry on from where we uh, left off in the last tutorial. Uh, now we want to set up a few global variables. The first one is going to be uh, ctx which is uh, it stands for uh, context and you'll uh, see what we want to use this for later uh, and another uh, variable called gravity pretty self-explanatory I'm gonna set this to 4 and now a uh, third variable called the force factor which sounds kind of cool I think force factor yes and this is, uh, if I'm going to explain it, when I uh, make an arrow like this, uh, I don't want uh, the the whole length of this ar arrow to be the velocity of the ball. I just want 30% of this length to be the velocity. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Uh, fourth variable. Uh, mouse down. This is basically a, a boolean, a yes or no a variable. Let's say, set this to false. Uh, so if the mouse is pressed, it's going to be true. If the mouse is not pressed, it's going to be false. Now make a variable called balls, which is going to be a new array. This is the a list that's going to hold all of our balls. Uh, and now a mouse pus mouse pus new array oops make sure to have a capital A array parenthesis and this is gonna hold the the position fro for where I uh, the X and Y for when I uh, press down on my mouse and the X and Y for where my my mouse currently are is sorry now let's uh, carry on with the event handler so we wanna check uh, with the help of uh, um, with the help of our jQuery library if the mouse is uh, down up or if the mouse is moving or if the window is resized so put a dollar sign and then docu document dot uh, mouse down and then in the parentheses we want to put the name of the um, the function that will be run if this uh, if the mouse is down so on mouse down and we're gonna create this function ourselves and this function is built in into the jQuery library now basically the same thing document dot mouse up and our own function on mouse up now document dot mouse move oops move on m mouse move uh, and if this is confusing uh, there's really nothing to worry about because I think you will uh, understand later on and be very careful when you write this for because if you make a single letter if you make a single small mistake the uh, the ro code will not run and uh, yeah that's not too good so window dot bind resize comma resize window whoops window so this is basically uh, this is our own function 
and uh, this checks if the the window the browser window is resized um let's see yeah let's carry on uh with the first uh, of our own functions so write func function on mouse down and then evt in the parentheses so when the mouse is down this function oops this function which is this function will be run and this will pass um, the event to the function and this might be a bit confusing confusing for some of you what a event is but basically it's like an object I guess where I can uh, get which I can get variables and and run methods from for example evt dot uh, page x will and this is a variable which holds the the page uh, where I hold my mouse uh, which x position I hold my mouse in over the the web browser if that makes any sense so the first thing we want to do in our function is to set mouse down to true and this is that variable that will now be true um, yeah and now mouse push that's our array with uh, with positions now make this um, uh, square brackets and uh, make a new index down x so every time we want to uh, know uh, every time we want to access the down x position we write this but now we want to set the down x position so we write equals evt dot page x oops x now basically the same thing but with the uh, y value plus and the index of down y so we can uh, access this variable evt dot page y so that's our uh, on mouse down function now make a new function and call it on mouse up positive event and curly brackets so on mouse up we want to set mouse down to false which is pretty self-explanatory and we also want to create the ball because when I uh, release my mouse the ball is created and it flies over the canvas but I'm not gonna write this code just yet we're gonna leave it as some kind of to-do thing to-do create the ball now make a third function and call it uh, on mouse move on mouse move positive event curly brackets and set the mouse pause and now this will be the current x so end time uh, in any part of this program where we want to access the current position of the mouse we write mouse pause <laughs> push and then the index of um, current x uh, because this event will not be accessible uh, everywhere for example here we can't do push x because we're not passing the event to the function it's not possible so we store it when we have the chance to store it which is right here equals evt dot Pus x mouse pus cur 
current y equals evt dot pos y and now we're done with that function let's carry on with uh, the last function which is uh, function oops function resize window window resize window yeah and pass it the event curly brackets and do canvas dot height equals and now we want to use uh, so this is basically our canvas and this is the canvas height I think you, you get that and now we want to use the jQuery uh, dollar sign parenthesis window yes as we access the document in the window down here window uh, dot height and this is a function that will return the height of the window so when I resize this window uh, this function resize window will be round and the canvas height will be uh, the same height as the inside of this uh, uh, browser canvas dot width equals dollar sign parenthesis window dot width parenthesis semicolon now uh, we might want to test our code uh, I'm not sure if we will see anything but we'll figure out yeah so this is it not so exciting um, let's just see that this is this code is being run by do doing in our can in our uh, canvas element style type uh, background color red and see if this works yeah the as you can see the um, the width and height is not correct right now but when we resize it it snaps and we have no scrolling bars and everything is working perfectly uh, and we will take care of this problem that it's not the right size in the init function down here in the let's go section and if you uh, don't get the, uh, the same results as I am getting here uh, I will make sure that this code is available for download under this video so you can just copy and paste and continue in the next tutorial um, because it's probably just a typo somewhere uh, so this is it for this tutorial I will see you in the next tutorial and goodbye have a nice day